Okay, good stuff. Hey there, welcome all. Uh, we are at, this is March 30th for uh, yeah, the IPFS implementers gathering intended for anyone involved actively advancing or you know dependent or influencing IPFS implementations. Um, so thanks all who are able to join. Uh, yeah, so we got various things to share and we're coming up hot on IPFS thing, which I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about. Um, but yeah, th thanks all who are here and we've got, to, I, I'll share my screen, we can see what the agenda items here, please others feel free to add things as we go along. I will do some note taking, but in general, I'm not good at listening and note taking. So if others feel free to jump in and do that, or there's also going to be the recording at the end that'll get posted to YouTube. And with that, we will uh, turn it over here to Robin. No, no, thank you. Um, so this is just a very quick batch of uh, announcement, uh, announcements and openings for feedback. Um, so first, thanks to um, the excellent work from HackDS, we now have a spec site that's up and running. Um, not all the specs are there yet, uh, but uh, we have the, um, the gateway specs um ipns uh not all the specs but some of the specs oh no actually all, all of the specs i think um and 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 also like code of conduct and, and and spec for specs um it's there it's to be used um there's an explanation of how to create new things um your specs at at uh, old ones <laughs> all the presentable specs i don't know <laughs> um but we you know the idea is to keep pushing um new specs out there and and it's rating it's rating on the on these um feedback cool. welcome if you want to play with it welcome um uh, it's there for everyone to use yeah and, and to be clear the way someone gets their content on here obviously they follow our spec process uh you know, ip ips etc but it's still just making prs into the ipfs slash specs repo right that that's all the yep. same yep it's still marked down still all the things you love um, just with a pipeline to make it look pretty on the other end. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, well, thank you, Robin and Hack Diaz and Lytle and others involved. Very, very cool. Yep. And hopefully we're going to see a thousand specs blooming and, and documenting everything beautifully. <laughs> yeah, good good stuff. And then I, I do you, do you want to talk on these couple of things too, Robin? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, just very briefly, um, so speaking of specs, there's a new um, architectural spec uh, that's being that's going that's going through the process. Um, it's called um, IPFS principles. Um, the idea is to sort of you know since we're seeing um, uh, lots of IPFS implementations or things that talk to IPFS or, or plug into it. Um, the idea was to document what the principles are that 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 support IPFS and what makes an IPFS implementation IPFS. Um, and so the, this is this is a living document. It's not meant to be the final word cast in stone um, about like every single um, principle and, and piece of architecture. But the idea is to help define things a little bit more clearly and and document. Uh, why CIDs are so fundamental, um, why robustness matters, et cetera. And so that should, uh, that, that, that is, is currently an open PR, and uh, so it's open for comments, and if things go well, should land soon. And to go with it, um, in prep for, in wrapping up the thing, there's a, there's a coming uh, blog post that, that's also um, in prep and expected to publish tomorrow, if all things go well as well which I hope, fingers crossed. Awesome. Well, yeah, big thanks to you, Robin, and others in Outer Core and some people on this call for helping move these things uh, forward. W one thing on the IPFS principles, obviously it's a living document. It's not like it has to all be 100% uh, comprehensive today. What, uh, you know, given that this is not a, uh, you know, an IPIP in terms of a protocol edition or we, where we would want to make sure there's a, a corresponding implementation that's in production to validate the spec. What what are you kind of viewing as the done criteria for this getting merged? Uh, I, I mean, I think it currently has uh, four people lined up uh, uh, as reviewers. I would I would think that if if those if those four people who you know come from different parts and several of whom are on this call who come from different parts of the ecosystem are happy with it, I think that's that 
in my mind, that's good enough to land the, the, this first pass. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, you know, as you said, it's a living document. The idea is to is to keep improving it. Uh, so community input would be very welcome. Great. Okay, awesome. Anyone have any questions on anything here? Awesome. Okay. Well, very good. Again, thank, thanks, Robin. Really cool seeing this get the you know lift off, particularly before IPFS thing. Uh, so yeah, we're just in kind of announcements section. I, I can take a couple others. Feel free to jump in if you have any that you want to share on the the Kubo front. You know, we I think released officially. You know, it took it was an RC phase for a little while, but we actually got zero nineteen released. Uh, I think a Monday or so ago. There is a follow-up release that's going to happen this next Monday, I guess the April 3rd, um, with a libp2p upgrade and a couple of other bug fixes. Um, so I've linked here to the the release uh, issues, which have um, you know what's going to be included. And you know we are trying to stay committed to the five-week release train, which has a 020 re release candidate also starting next week, um, which will have additional things beyond what's in 019.1. Uh, so anyway, Kubo is moving is moving along. You can click there if you want to learn anything more about it. Anything you want to say on Bifrost Gateway, Lytle? Um, work in progress. Uh, but okay. interestingly, uh, now by both Kubo and Bifrost Gateway share the Boxos uh, slash Gateway library. Um, so uh, we are dog fooding uh, the implementation of Gateway in Bifrost Gateway as a part of Project RIA. Uh, but those uh, improvements slash bugs will bubble up to uh, Kubo uh, 0.20 RC. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that RC1 will be more bumpy on the gateway side, but that's that's expected. Yeah, and I guess just want to add that we are using the gateway conformance tests that have been talked about here um, in that in that project. Yeah, yeah, but it's kind of like growing tests along the code. Um, so there are more unknown unknowns than known uh, unknowns. So who knows? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, th that's great. And you know, for anyone listening to this call, like these topics, like Bifrost Gateway, Gateway Conformance Tests, Boxo, those will all be things that will have presentations at IPFS thing. Things will also be a little bit more polished or a little bit further along by that point where we're coming in hot on these things. Uh, but if these are piquing your interest, obviously you can gauge in on GitHub or in chat beforehand, but we should have like some better outputs to to share after the IPFS thing. Um, and I can I can talk here on Boxo. So that's a new name uh, since the last call, which was formerly what was called Golib IPFS uh, to avoid any confusion around what it means to be an IPFS implementation. We have moved away from IPFS in the name. Uh, so that renaming plus consolidating about 30 existing repos that lived in the IPFS uh, GitHub organization have been moved in to Boxo. And by moved in, I mean copied in. We are not, uh, we're not archiving these existing repos, but we are also making clear that those existing repos are not, are not maintained. Um, so if you know they're they're not going to be getting um, security fixes by default, um, but the the versions in Boxo will. And there's been tooling that has been created to make it easy for people to convert from using the Despera of repos to moving to Boxo. Um, it it got used in the Bifrost Gateway and in Kubo and some other places. So that that, that tool has also been somewhat vetted. Um, anyway, there's lots here on this. And again, we'll get this more buttoned up, particularly before IPFS thing. But like the master issue, if you want to track as to like why this is happening, what we're doing, when things are happening is all here. Um, but it's the specifics of the like 30 repos that are getting copied in and like their specific status is all on, on this link. So more to come on this one, but that's a thing that the Kubo maintainers are very active in. Um, but also they tend here as well as to do it in a way that is not disruptive to other groups. Um, so we have minimized some of the dependence, the packages that are pulling dependency on Boxo. And uh, again, this is code being copied. We are not shutting down existing repos. Um, yeah, so that's all I'll say there, unless anyone has any questions. And okay, Helia, real, real quick, you know, I, this is, you know, Alex Pitsidis has really been driving this. There was a quiet release of Helia v1, um, more to kind of signal that the API is stable. 
um, but we we aren't we haven't been ringing the bell or doing any marketing announcements on that. There's certainly some hospitality items that need to get completed, and we want to have some more examples in place. So that will all get done before we like announce this more. But it's there. People can certainly start using it. You know, folks, some folks on this call and others for IPFS thing are starting to build some presentations and demos using it, um, which so it's great to see the tires getting kicked and where you know where some of the usability challenges are. Um, so anyway, that, that's all underway. Things are still moving forward. Um, I think on the schedule, there's a, a Helia demo for next Monday, but I don't know yet if that's going to happen or not. I need confirmation from Alex, but if it's not happening, we'll get it canceled soon so or you know, by tomorrow so that uh, people don't show up to that. But anyway, things are still moving ahead and help is certainly welcome if uh, anyone does want to engage. And with that, I don't think we have anyone here to talk on Lassie, so we'll, we'll skip that. Maybe we'll go to project board. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like before IPFS thing. Uh, uh, it's like a silence before the storm, I guess. But uh, there's like one um, thing that I wanted to bring up to attention. It's not like ready for final review. It's in the in the progress uh, column. Um, we also had uh, other uh, IPFS, like the, the top one uh, was uh, introduced recently, but we we'll probably uh, focus on uh, all those uh, after IPFS thing and we'll have discussions uh, during. Uh, however, the one I wanted to um, uh, mention here is uh, 383 compact denialist format. And that's because uh, for two reasons. One, uh, Hector, uh, uh, lead maintainer of IPFS cluster and uh, pretty experienced uh, uh, member of IPFS uh, ecosystem for many, many years, um, proposed IP, but uh, more importantly, um, if you scroll to the very bottom, he links to a uh, working code uh, uh, that uh, mm, sorry. implements that. And he also converted and published uh, bad bits in this new format. And I, I know many people in IPFS community, especially people running public gateways, uh, are using bad bits. Um, so looks like uh, the friction uh, for this IP becoming the standard uh, is uh, reduced. And I feel uh, it's a good time to ask people who are interested in content filtering, uh, running public uh, gateways, or figuring out the governance of um, allow lists and deny lists to take a look at this IP because this is like the low level primitive, but everything else would be built on top of that. Um, and uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned it because I, I believe Hector may be, uh, uh, may be, uh, have, may have limited uh, 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 availability in the following months. So it may be a good time to engage before uh, and during IPFS thing. Cool. Th thanks, Lytle, for giving uh, visibility on this one. Um, one thing, I, and I know it's linked here, the the, I, the issue that Cloudflare had originally opened. Um, how? What's the relationship between Cloudflare's original work that's been discussed here in this call and what where Hector's coming at things from? Yeah, yeah. so they're, they're kind of like driven by different use cases. Mm -hmm. um, my understanding uh, from the discussions with uh, Thibault and uh, other folks uh, is that like Cloudflare, uh, Cloudflare's focus is about uh, a single user list, would be that allow list or deny list. Let's say you have a list of CADs that you want to allow on your gateway and block everything else. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, and that's focused on uh, UX. Uh, format was uh, JavaScript. That comes with trade-offs when it when you have like millions of those entries uh, or and you want to um, parse them efficiently uh, or cover more than that single use case. Mm -hmm. There are short, shortcomings you know, around that format. So Hector's uh, IP, my understanding of it is, was built on top of uh, learnings from that. And it covers way more use cases. For example, it's uh, it's not only uh, covering uh, immutable identifiers. It not only co it covers clear text and double hashed ones because there are some bad bits which cannot be 
listed uh, in the clear, but it's also supporting things like blocking specific uh, content types, uh, no matter what's uh, the, uh, the CID. So for example, if you want to block uh, executables to be downloaded or videos to be downloaded, you could do that. So it's like a way more versatile format. Mm -hmm. um, but also it's focused on uh, being, uh, uh, yeah, be, being something that we could adopt. Mm -hmm. And uh, I linked to that, uh, to this uh, IP from that other issue in Kubo because um, now we have Kubo, we have Bifrost Gateway binary. Um, at some point, we, we want to standardize on some uh, formats. This is probably a good candidate. And uh, the, if there's a time to like, think about it, I think uh, before IPFS think it's a good, uh, a good time to take, a, uh, take time to read it and uh, provide feedback. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone who really needs this uh, would be interested in uh, uh, providing implementation for Kubo or Bifrost uh, Gateway sooner or later. Uh, I know that at PL we do blocking on uh, on the edge, but people may be running in different uh, uh, to topology of deployment. So uh, if anyone is interested, uh, reach out to me if Hector is not around. Okay, great. Th thanks, Little. But it, just to be clear, are we kind of viewing? Do we view three eight three as a uh, like that? It sorry uh, that it kind of replaces the Cloudflare work, given that it's based on the learnings there. Or do we yeah. expect both of these to live yeah. in parallel? So my understanding is that this effectively sub is like su supper set. It like covers mm -hmm. way more ground. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we invest time into implementing feel, like blocking or allow list deny lists. This uh, is more versatile than that one. Okay, uh, could be that uh, the Cloudflare is still used for uh, places where like end user like yep. UX is important, or it could be like the JS representation of this spec. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, this one is like it's not like just oh someone do, did not like JSON uh, yeah. and use different format. This uh, just covers way more ground, and uh, it comes with a syntax that cover uh, that uh, facilitates different use cases. Okay, great. Um, so, so sounds good. I guess it would probably be good for us to ping Cloudflare folks to you know get their take on on this and see if this is meeting their needs. Um, okay, I can do that after. Um, okay. Great, thank thank you, Lytle. I, I guess one I was just wanting to hash. And we've got uh, so we've got Giannis here. The double hashing spec. Do you just want to give an update of what we're thinking here, Giannis? Um, yeah. So as far as I know, the DHD, uh, the double hash DHD spec is um, kind of locked. Uh, is very has received lots of feedback and has been revised accordingly. Uh, what is happening now is that Guillaume is um, uh, refactoring some of the uh, initial code we had for the double hash DHD uh, to, to fit basically what is in the spec. Um, yeah, it's it's almost considered final. There is no work being done there now. Um, and then uh, there might be some light changes if people come up with more comments or based on the existing ones. There are some discussions, but not for major things. Um, and then it's going to be uh, yeah, merged basically once the implementation comes to the same, um, yeah, yeah, comes to reflect basically what, what is in the spec. Okay, and I guess a, a key ask, I mean, beyond the specification implementation, a, a big element of this is the rollout. That's right. Uh, and and, so, and I know a lot of a lot of thought is being given into coming up with some plans there and to share those at IPFS thing. Is that right? Yes, yes. So we do we we do make lots of progress on a weekly basis. We do have uh, a rough idea of the migration plan. Actually, we have decided this week on the best option to go forward. And the immediate next steps are to. Um, release that to the community in a discussion, in a discussion forum post. 
Okay. So that uh, we start raising awareness both for the double hash DHT, but also for uh, the migration policy. Um, yeah, I'm, I, we are going to have a discussion about this in IPFS thing. I'm looking to, uh, I have booked and plan to organize a session on um, after the main events on the, um, what is it, I don't know, the Tuesday and Wednesday um, mm -hmm. after IPFS thing. Uh, to bring anyone interested and especially um, big content providers, uh, big um, like people that run um, like operators of DHT uh, server nodes and so on in one room so that we have a more open discussion. Um, this will be initially, you know, we're going to give some presentation about you know, our thinking, our current thinking, but it's going to be a round table discussion primarily to for people to um, yeah, raise issues, ideas, what we missed and, and so on. Excellent. Okay, thank, thanks, Giannis. Uh, does anyone else have any other IP IPs they need to surface or get visibility on? I kind of got a request in towards the end of the notes there about the um, delegated routing puts and delegated naming. Mm -hmm. One thing we talked about on the IPNI team was um, whether or not the folks um, implementing on the IPFS side could um, help us start kind of a collaboration process on the APIs for those by just putting together like a, a very base reference API, like kind of a stub um, that we could then start iterating on. And we wanted to float that by the group and see if um, y'all would be okay with doing that. We think then we could start contributing to the process probably more and sink our teeth in and help out. It, does, when you say API, is this HTTP API? Is this Golang API? What, what, does, what do you mean there? In both these cases, uh, HTTP APIs is what we had in mind. Yeah, I was just confused because the both of those proposals have have you know they have like HTTP API proposals. So I was trying to understand where, like, I guess what what feels like is being lost at the moment. Yeah, that was going to kind of be my question as, as well. Like I'm assuming the IPIP covers what we want for an HTTP API. Um, is it like help getting that started in Box Okubo or? Yeah, I think I think the the main concern is like the base reference for Kubo operations so that we don't make any assumptions or like. I think design decisions. Um, maybe I can get like a little bit more feedback from the team on explicitly um, the type of support that they're looking for. But mostly um, what we want to have is kind of the um, a reference that's like minimal risk for us to refer to that does what IPFS and Kubo do today. I don't think they want to make any like assumptions about that. Okay, you got it. Yeah, I guess. Mean, do you have any suggestions for for them? If like if they want to be able to push this forward, is it just starting to open up some PRs in Boxo? Is it or? Yeah, I, I think so. I think it's like, yeah, uh, opening up PRs in Boxo, and then it's probably like trading some reviews on the on the things related to that spec. So like, um, you know, like I know that they've. The IPNI folks have done the like NDJSON stuff for for their API, and we have we have that is still like someone needs to review Gus's PR so he can land that for uh, the routing v1 API, and then move on to the other you know the other implementation things there, and um, yeah, I mean, we can chat like just chat in the Boxo maintainers channel, and if like if there's some help needed of like, how do I get started? Then we can start with some skeletons, but that's why I asked if this is Go or HTTP, because it sounds like the answer is Go, which is like, I need help figuring out how to get the implementation set up 
to match the spec so it's likely to get merged and all taken care of. Let me let me clarify that. I mean, I, I thought for some reason after talking to the team about it, we were talking about the HTTP uh, implementation, but uh, that's what I'm saying. So the implementation, like the spec has the HTTP stuff. But if you're looking for help with the implementation, it's like, how do I write the Go code that will fit in the code base nicely that will implement that? Yeah, totally. I, I see what you're saying. It, it definitely sounds like it's Go. Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll grab you in the content cool. running work group on this. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, OK, cool. Very good. Um, yeah. Okay, so there is that. Yeah, I yeah, know Daniel asked a question in the oh. in the channel too, which was about peer routing. Um, I think at the moment this is just content routing. Um, there, we we do need a we do need peer routing. Um, yeah, I I started drafting an IPIP for that, but I haven't I haven't published it yet. Yeah. Okay. Th thanks, Dean. To thanks. some extent, it will likely look not dissimilar from the IPNS one because they they both use rough, the same key identifiers uh, and then have signed records. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll move on here. I guess yeah. Obviously, IPFS thing is coming up. First off, just wanted to see if anyone has any announcements or things that they need towards that. Yeah, any any call outs anyone wants to make regarding IPFS thing? Sounds like no, I know, yeah, lots of people really busy getting ready for that. Um, I, I haven't been up to date on the latest of logistics in terms of if schedules and stuff have been published. I'm, I know we got a lot of good people working on this. I assume it'll all come together. Um, but uh, okay, so there's that. I guess just from a logistics regard, this meeting is the IPFS implementers meeting is every two weeks, which that means there is one more of these before. Um, you know, I guess the Thursday sorry, IPFS thing starts on Saturday. That by default on Thursday there is another occurrence of this meeting. Um, I'm thinking maybe to cancel it, given it will we'll all be together. Um, so yes, unless there's any objections, we'll just do it that 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 way. Um, we'll have a lot of time together. If if anyone needs to sync on anything or needs help in you know getting questions asked for their presentations or whatever, I think probably best just to talk in the IPFS implementers channel um, or or in other venues. Okay, so I, I'll take uh, I'll take the action of canceling the next occurrence, and that puts us at the end. Did anyone have anything else they wanted to to bring up or share? I guess I just hit the merge button to rename the delegated routing HTTP API to routing v1 so that we stop referring to a specific spec or of as the general category of the thing. Um, so we, we now have sort of a name for it. Okay. Routing v routing v1. Because there are now multiple delegated, we have at least three, maybe more delegated routing HTTP APIs. So uh, they should be independently referable to. Cool. Very good. Thank, thanks, Adine. Nothing like the meeting to force that one over the hump. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I saw it was approved, but not merged. So, you know, <laughs> just hit the button. <laughs> we love a good rename. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Okay, we, we can offer rename contractual services at your disposal. Um, okay, very uh, good. Well, th thanks everyone for joining. And yeah, if anyone needs anything beforehand, feel free to schedule or reach out and chat. And otherwise, looking forward to seeing every or most everyone on this call here in a couple weeks in Europe. So thanks all. Great stuff. Good work. Ciao for now. Bye bye.